Hey Aquarius, I hope you are doing well. This is going to be a general reading for uh, November 26th through the 30th. Any information you need, Aquarius, you can find it in the description box down below. I do have personals open right now. It is a three question video reading. Uh, it's 2828, you get it within 48 hours. This does close tonight. Monday, uh, November 25th at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. So everything is down there if you're interested, of course. But we are going to go ahead and begin here. This is for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, November 26th through the 30th. What do we have for you here? I swear, everybody's gotten like a, a celebration card showing up for Thursday. I mean, we know why, right? But it's it's just interesting. Like three of cups is showing up there for that day. You have three of pentacles here as well. So the number three could be significant to you. Eight of pentacles is your overall energy. I feel like you're trying to commit to something here. It could be something going on at work that you're trying to finish up. Maybe it's like before a holiday break or something like that, um, that you're trying to like complete a task. You know, when you're hitting like the eights and nines, you're typically trying to wrap something up. But I also feel, Aquarius, like you could be in this energy where you're trying to fix something. You know, I feel like you could be frustrated and just trying to work on something here. And like you put your full focus on it. This is like tunnel vision type of energy. Um... I will say for a lot of you, I feel like there is um, something on the horizon for you, like a new chapter, you know, like you're in the, you got two threes here. So when it comes to that energy, like if you're about to hit, like you got um, three of cups here, you know, when you're in this energy, it can talk about a harvest, a celebration, you know, you got that three of pentacles, a work in progress. It seems to me like you're right on the edge of a really big change. Um, and then you have the chariot here, out here in the cards as well. It feels like something is brewing for you, but there is this like, um, I'm not going to lie, like a little bit of a heavy energy over here because you got Knight of Swords, you got Five of Swords. Um, it seems like there's something that's pulling you out of that Eight of Pentacles focus. And I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like it's a person, okay? We'll see what's going on with it, but Knight of Swords is showing up for tomorrow's energy. This can be a little bit of a defensive energy here. Um, this can be somebody who is, like, they, they speak before they really think about what it is that they're saying. Somebody who's kind of irrational or impulsive in their communication um, with that Knight of Swords energy. I feel like there could be some tension, a little bit of an argument. Um, some of you, this could have already happened, and there could be a rushing in that's happening with this person. You know what I mean? It's like um, you're either rushing towards them or they're rushing towards you, and it seems like the energy is still there of, like, tension from an argument or a disagreement that took place. You have the Three of Pentacles showing up here for Wednesday, so it could be some new plans being made, something going on at work. You could be trying to, like, complete a project or something of that nature here, Aquarius, with the Three of Pentacles energy. It is a card of collaboration and teamwork. Um, it could also be you and this person, like, working on things trying to build together like it could be good vibes here uh, especially when it comes to this three of cups energy um because whatever is happening in um on wednesday here in the three of pentacles like whatever you're working on with the person i feel like it bleeds over into thursday's energy um you have the three of cups so like getting together celebrating something um it looks like good energy there it looks like good energy there Wednesday and Thursday. And then all of a sudden we move back into this cold, airy energy here. Not Aries, like air sign type of energy um, on uh, Friday. Five of Swords. Somebody here might have Venus and Aquarius. But yeah, with this energy being present here, I feel like there's mental confusion. You know, there it, this will show up sometimes for head games. Um, you know, it will show up sometimes if somebody's in a petty energy. They'll win at all costs. You know, that will show up sometimes. So... I tell you what, Aquarius. I feel. I feel like you're in. You're like you're on the up in a situation, and I feel like there's something that keeps pulling you off of that path. It feels really, really frustrating, um, and it's like confusing you and turning you around, spinning you in circles. Here, you do have the chariot showing up for Saturday's energy. This is victory. It's triumph over obstacles. If there's been something that's been unclear to you, I feel like it's made clear to you by Saturday. Is the energy I get? Um, what else do we have here for Aquarius in regards to the spread? Okay, that was fast. Let's look at it. The strength card. Yeah, I mean, you're on your way to securing something here, Aquarius. No doubt. We got Leo energy with that. You're on your way to securing something. Like, you're in uh, a huge position of power. The thing about it is that I feel like you're going to have to walk away from something. You got the Page of Wands showing up right here. Could be that impulsive energy. And I was kind of getting the sense that this had to do with the person. It's like I said, I think that you could be very up and down with the person. And they're the ones that are, is pulling you off of that path, you know? It seems to be a person that's pulling you out of focus. 
um, with this really amazing energy, you know, like that eight of pentacles, whatever it is you're working on, like it's really, really close. You're really, really close to the goal here. And I feel like somebody keeps pulling you off of that path with some very confusing energy. You got the nine of cups showing up here, strong support system, you know, and I'm not surprised that's showing up in Thursday's energy here um, with the three of cups, right? We got uh, a lot of people celebrating holidays on that day. You can see the table in the card here, uh, you know, possibly a dinner, right? Three of Cups can be like a get-together, an event, things like that. And then we have this Eight of Cups showing up to uh, clarify that Five of Swords. I feel like you're really done with the up-and-down energy. And there's too much information missing is something else that I'm getting here, Aquarius. Like, whatever's going on in this up-and-down energy, there's never an explanation for it is the vibe that I'm getting here. And I think that's why there's so much, like, defensiveness, you know? And I think that around Saturday, it's sort of like... Because you got Queen of Cups clarifying that. This is someone who's very intuitive. They're very, like, emotionally mature. I feel like that's the energy that you're in around Saturday. And it just seems to me as if you finally decide to, like, close your cup off to this energy, like, around Saturday, around the 30th. Because the Chariot is here. I feel like fate finally takes the wheel. And it's like there's no looking back, you know. Because Chariot's just straight up forward movement. It's just straight up, I'm moving on, I'm moving forward, not looking back, you know. And that's the energy that you're in. It's like you're wanting to stay on the path. And you're realizing this person is sabotaging the path whether they're doing that intentionally or not it's not clear but you know I will say that intuitively you're starting to realize that this is like this is not going to work out you're like I'm not growing this person already and this is just the beginning of my growth journey you know that's the that's the energy that I get here from that what else do we have for Aquarius in regards to this spread here King of Swords. Yeah, you're just completely going cold to it because look at this. Like the moon is right here. This can be a card that can represent like fears, illusions, secrets, hidden things, right? King of Swords is here and that's your energy. Like that's an Aquarius card. This is somebody, King of Swords is somebody who's been straight up the whole time. You can see like he is looking straight ahead. The other court cards, they like, you know, they'll look off to the side or, you know, they'll look down or whatever, right? Right? You know, and so I do feel that you being in King of Swords energy, this is you having always been direct and honest with this person, and they're vague, and they're, um, you know, they're in an energy where they kind of hide themselves. And so it's, it's interesting how they're showing up versus how you're showing up, the sun out there in the open, you know, and I also feel that the sun is representing what you're headed towards, happiness, high vibrations, joy, and new beginnings. Some of you, it's with a Leo if it's involving love, but I really feel like it's about your abundance, you know, it's about your abundance and the path has been unclear to you because this person has been clouding your vision, clouding your judgment, causing your emotions and your intuition to clash with one another and it confuses you. And so I feel like you're really done with this energy here. You're wanting to focus on yourself and your individual journey. And I can't say I blame you, Aquarius. This seems like a very up and down energy they don't know their ass from their elbow okay so that is what i'm seeing here for you aquarius i hope that this was helpful or fun or whatever you needed it to be details are down below for anybody who's interested in personals it is a three question video reading it is 28 28 you get it within 48 hours this does close out tonight though monday november 25th at 11 p.m eastern time Everything's down there, but if this is where we part, thank you so much for being here, Aquarius. I really appreciate you, and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.